Hi, my name is Pina. When I first uh, went to the YWCA, I was on the verge of homelessness. The YWCA changed my life because of the transition program. They offered me affordable housing in a safe and supportive environment, giving me confidence to rebuild my life. I graduated from Quincy Gamon Community College, and now I'm enrolled in Worcester State University. My name is Liz Miska. I am a VIP, a visually impaired person. I have um, been a YWCA member since 2008 when I started losing my vision. And as a result of discovering and exploring the YWCA, my life has been enriched. They have welcomed me to make innovations and encourage people like myself who are differently abled to come and utilize um, the facility. Developing those, those strands of community um, and, and feelings of belonging, that's what the YWCA means to me, is community. Hi, my name is Denisha Fahey. I'm 17 years old. I've participated in the Girls' Choice program for five years, and there has been a remarkable change. I've developed a passion for peer mentorship and community service and activism. I will be attending Brandeis University in the fall on a full scholarship. Through the Girls' Choice program, I have had the opportunity to engage in a number of internships, including my position as a sexual health peer educator with Planned Parenthood. If it weren't for my participation and involvement in the YWCA Girls' Choice program, I most likely would have continued the generational oppression that my family has carried of lack of college, lack of education, and unintended pregnancy. So my name is Sue Mailman. I'm the president of Coughlin Electrical Contractors, and I'm very honored to be the tri-chair of the capital campaign for the YWCA this year um, for the next couple of years, and it is a very exciting project for Worcester. My name is Kathy Metzger, and I've lived in Westboro for almost 40 years, and my involvement with the YWCA um, goes back to pretty much the beginning of that time frame. Hi, I'm Sue Woodbury, and I'm a longtime Worcester resident. Uh, actually, I was born in Worcester and have lived there my entire life. Currently, uh, I serve on the board of directors, and I'm working on the capital campaign as well. I am the retired chair of the George I. Alden Trust, which is based in Worcester. Uh, I've been a board member for two terms, and currently serving on the development committee and sharing in the leadership role of the capital campaign. The YWCA physical location has a very important part in the renaissance of the city. I saw that the services that were being provided, particularly to women and their families, were so important. I think I became involved with YWCA by meeting a bunch of board members who were very enthusiastic about their role in the YWCA, and probably most importantly, Linda Cavioli who is just a dynamic leader and you want to be a part of whatever she's involved with. There isn't really any organization that in my view helps young women to develop, young women to learn what they need to know to be successful. We provide the opportunity to develop women and girl leaders, which is very important. When you work with a bunch of women, you realize how hardworking everybody is, and people actually do what they say they're going to do, and it's a, it's a very satisfying experience. We have new retail and new, um, new people coming downtown and living there all the time. And the YW is, offers daycare services, offers all kinds of um, services that are going to help those uh, citizens living there. It is the hope of all of us who are working on the campaign that in the future, the number of women, families, and others will be able to be served efficiently, effectively, and with the care that is often is a key feature of the care of what is provided at the YWCA. The time has really, really come to do a total reallocation of space so that we are prepared today and for things that will come up in the future that we don't even know about. 
in many instances, what the YWCA provides is not really available anywhere else. It helps women and girls, but it also um, gets new people in the city involved with the city. It's our YWCA and it's our our collective efforts that are going to make this campaign happen and um, it is a very meaningful time and place to be working with the YW right now. It is so important to protect the future of the YWCA right now because issues around women's rights are front and center. There is no other organization that is doing the same work as effectively as this YWCA. This is an institution that's been here a long time and it needs to be in the community. We need the next generation of women to come along behind us and carry the banner. I really encourage all of you to get involved in this YWCA project. It's a part of the revitalization of Worcester. It's a key place and everyone should be supporting it one way or the other. It is a physical location that is very important in the city and it's going to be a very exciting project. I encourage everyone to participate and you know join in because again that sense of belonging is what drew me to the YW. Girls Choice and the YWCA has changed me forever. This renovation and update will change the community forever. This new project will help the YWC help even more members of our communities.